Hello and welcome back to Salesforce. Sir. In this video, we will be covering about API decorator, which is the third type of decorator. Before watching this video, make sure to watch the parent and child component video. Also, we have covered some decorators like which are already there in the series, LWC video series. Now, in this video, we will be like first of all defining what an API decorator is and why it is needed. Secondly, we will be like give, taking a simple example, simple analogy, analogy kind of thing so that we'll be able to understand about API decorator in a simpler way. Then we will be taking a simple basic example, code example, so that you can understand better how we can use API decorator and how to implement in different, different scenarios. So let's start. So first of all, defining API decorator. API decorator is simply a decorator which is which is used to make a property. Property. Uh, what I can say public. Now, which property I am talking about? A property which we create or which we declare in an AWC component. For an example, if I show you in the code, this is the property I am talking about. Like the this property which we create in the LWC component class, that property we can make public by using API decorator. Now, uh, taking a simple analogy, why like why we need API decorator, why we need to make a property public. So imagine there is a, there is a whole mall, there is a big mall in which uh, there are multiple shops. And if you want to share, like the mall manager wants to share some rules and regulation, like a, a rule, like a, the all the shops should get closed after 8 p.m. So this is a rule Ma mall manager wants to share with all the shops which are inside the mall. So in that case, definitely the mall manager have to share that information with all the small, small shops and to do so. Now you can relate, like let's relate it with the LWC. In LWC also there are, there is a big component. There could be a big component, uh, like a parent component, which can have multiple small, small components. For an example, imagine there is a cart, there is a whole shop, uh, like product list, which is displayed on a big component and each product card is displayed there. So each product card will be the child component and there will be a big parent component. So from the big parent component, we want to send some information to the child components. There comes the role of uh, like API decorator. And there are many other users as well, like these properties, these public properties within the child component can be used or can be like, uh, can be accessed from any external source as well. Like from flows, we can access these properties or we can provide the values to these child component properties, like to these uh, public properties, we can provide values. From the record page, we can provide some values to these properties. So when a property becomes public in an LWC component class, then there are ex various external sources which can provide the value to this these public properties as well as they can also change the value. Also, they can access the value of these public properties. So that is what uh, uh, we are going to understand now, uh, like how we can do it practically. So let's see, uh, I have already prepared a basic example, basic code example for you all to understand. So there is a parent component and there is a child component. These two components we have. So let me uh, like make you understand first of all the functionality. So this parent component, I have put it into the uh, record page, account record page. You can see over this, this is something which I have created. There is an input field, there is a button, set value, and then there are two things returns, child property one, child property two. Now, let me tell you that this whole thing is inside a parent component, but these two things, this particular portion, which you are seeing child property from child property one onwards, this is the part of the child component. So here in the child component HTML, uh, okay, first of all, let me complete with the functionality of this particular component. If I write something in this input box and set value, click on set value, then that will come appear in here, right? And uh, now you can, you'll be seeing like this, some, this is something which we, we can also do, right? That, that is very easy, but here there is something different. What is the difference, th different thing here in this? The different part is that this parent component is using or is uh, having a child component inside which these two 
paragraphs are displayed right so this parent component directly only consists of these input box and there is a button and then indirectly it is having para tags which is which are present in this child component right so let's see the child component here in the child component js there are two para tags child property one and then this is the property binding we are doing here uh, like prop child property one and child property two we are passing in the stm which we have defined in the child component js itself you can see now here uh, till now in the videos you had seen that we create a property just by putting their name like uh, record data something like this in this way we create but here i have used at the rate api before that because we want to make the property public this child property too i can write without using at the rate api as well but then it will become private and parent component will not be able to access it so that's why I have provided at the read API to it. Now, so here child property two is there, child property one is there, which are pub public. So from the parent component, we can get the value into these properties. How we can get it? Now let's understand that. Because right now you can see these are empty. And in the HTML, we are using them. And you can see by default, if I refresh the page, you, you'll be finding that hello world is printed but there is nothing assigned to this child property one you can see here it is printed hello world but it's nothing assigned there in the child property one then how could it print uh like a hello world the reason being let's let's let me show you the parent component html here in this parent component we are putting child uh, using this child component by using c dash child dash component this is a kebab case format then to the property which is defined in a camel case naming convention here in the html we have to use in kebab case which means capital becomes small and before the capital letter there is a dash which comes dash came here capital p became small here see the child component this p is capital here right capital p so this capital p will become small and in the html of the parent we have to use in this way only and we are passing hello world from the parent component you can see here we are passing the hello world so from here we are getting this hello world printed within the child component right and the other value if i'll write down the input here hello to child component something like this and click on set value button then hello to child is coming over here. right so how this is working see there is a light, lightning input box here that's why lightning input box is displaying over here then there is a button right set value label uh, and on click of this button there is a function which get called which is set to value function now in the set value function, there is a JS, like this, what we have defined is we have simply taken the lightning input, uh, lightning input element. We have fetched that which is from the HTML and within that lightning input tag, we are taking the value attribute value. So that is we, we are assigning to input value variable. So what will happen there is like this particular variable, this particular whole thing will assign the user input, like whatever the user will be writing here in this input box will gonna get assigned into this variable input value. And then what is what we are doing is the alternative approach of assigning the value. The first approach we have seen in the HTML itself, we can pass the value. From the HTML, we can pass the value or uh, like parent HTML in this way, camel uh, capap case, child dash property one. And if I want to pass property two value, which is also public, so I can use child dash property two and I can assign. But this is one way. The alternative way is in the parent JS itself, you, you'll find what I have done is I have fetched, first of all, I have like a, a queried the child component tag. And from that, I am accessing using dot notation the uh, 
the public property which is child property 2 and to that property I am assigning input value which is given by the user itself right so that's what I am doing and that's why when I'm writing something over here hello final and set clicking on set value then hello final is getting printed in the child component so these are the two ways by which we can send the value from parent to child with the help of uh, like public property and public property can be made using API decorator. So that is about API decorator and how we can send uh, data from parent to child component, right? I hope you found this video insightful and understood the concept. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our Salesforce channel for more such insightful content.